So welcome guys. Today we're gonna practice drawing 3D model. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna make sure I'm using inches when it over here. So let's continue. Go to wireframe. We're gonna draw a rectangle. Click on rectangle over here. Then you're gonna see over here we need to put our width and height and our height gonna be 12 inch and it's gonna be 15 inch 12 15 enable lock then make sure it's on anchor to center over here and you can see over here the blue line shows our rectangle is drawn so now click ok and create another and now unlock both width and height and now this time our width gonna be 8, eight inch and our height gonna be 6 inch yeah. 6 inch lock it and the center is already enabled click ok click click ok see our rectangles is drawn now we gonna draw circles so click on circle center point and then radius gonna be 0.375 not actually it's gonna be 2 inches lock over here we're gonna do on all 4 corners okay, here. Okay. ok and create a new operation now unlock the radius this time our radius gonna be of diameter sorry diameter gonna be 1.5 inches so, 1.5 inches lock it similarly concentric to other circle and now click ok see over here now we gonna delete some identities so, now we gonna delete some geometry so go on divide read this read this and similarly to all four sides Now you can see over here all four four sides are divided so click ok and now we're gonna do a radius of corners these corners we're gonna do radius for 0.375 good fillet entries here click over here and here then make it to radius to 0.375 click and you can see over here our fillet radius is done so similarly we gonna do not for uh, now outside boundary radius are done now we gonna do inside radius so this time our radius gonna be of 0.75 so we will change it over here 75 here inside four corners click ok and now our 2d geometry is drawn now we gonna do 3d extrusion for a solid model so go to solid over here and then just click on extrude ok now hold shift key and select this chain you can see all chain is selected outside boundary click ok now you're gonna see over here the arrow is upside so we're gonna make it to downside over here see over here the arrow is downside 
and this time our thickness gonna be of 4 inches 4 you can see over here it's 4 inches down and now we're gonna click ok and create new operation and now we're gonna select inner rectangle hold shift you can see all over here all rectangle is selected click ok this time you're gonna do cut 40 and you can see over here we're gonna make our distance to 1.75 click ok and create new operation so click over here then make sure enable chain feature and you can see automatically selected circles of same diameter click ok and then make it through all click ok go to isometric view by holding alt and 7 over here our 3d model is ready for machining thanks for watching guys if you like this video please do like if you have any queries please don't forget to comment and see you in next video